Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the icing drips on this shaker cup. Um, I just got it off of Amazon and what I'm going to use is my tumbler, some sort of cup to mix your paint in, a mixing stick, um, a squeeze bottle. I got this in a three pack from Hobby Lobby. some thick acrylic paint and whatever color paint you want to mix with it. You can get the color paint you want in the thick one, but I could not find um, a hot pink in it. So I figured I'd just get white and it's universal. So what we're going to do first is mix up our paint. You can save whatever you don't use also. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes just because when I added the pink to it, it got it a little bit, um, a little bit more liquidy than I want it to be. You want it to be pretty thick. All right. So this has been sitting for about 20 minutes. It's still not, you know, super thick, but it's thick enough to put in our bottle and squeeze on there. So the bottle, I'm going to actually cut the tip off some because it is a little tiny hole. And I needed a little bit of a more, a little bit more of an opening to squeeze out onto the cup. All right, so once I have that cut a little bit bigger, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our paint into the bottle. So once you have all your paint in, you're going to take your cup and just start making the drips on it. That is still going to drop some, so I don't put mine super long because they're still going to um, fall down some. So I usually just put them pretty small. You can always go back and add to it.
as you can see, this is why I always start out with just a little bit because it's already starting to thicken up here and the drops are already starting to go down. So what I do now is just go back through along the top to fill in some of the empty spaces. So I lost my clip in between and the audio on this clip, but I went ahead and put a coat of epoxy on my cup after the paint was dry, which was like 24 hours. And in this clip, I'm just going to be applying my decal and my water slides, which are um, donuts and ice cream cones that I printed out on clear water slide.
Okay, so this next part is totally optional. Um, I'm gonna put a couple sprinkles on the icing part. Um, I just got these sprinkles from Kroger. They were like $2. And you can use whatever glue you want um, or Mod Podge, whatever works for you. And so I'm just going to start putting some random spots of glue on here. Now they do sell um, fake sprinkles online, but you can use real ones as long as you seal them after you put them on with like um, clear spray. Okay, so this is how it looks now that I put the sprinkles on. I am going to spray the whole cup with clear spray and then put the final coats of epoxy on my cup and I will be back to show you how it looks when it's done. So right here I did turn off my turner for a few seconds to get the epoxy around the sprinkles. I didn't want to be too rough on them, even though they are glued on and clear sprayed on, um, I didn't want one to accidentally pop off while I was rubbing on the epoxy.
So here's how the cup turned out. The sprinkles are sealed on there. They're not going anywhere. There's two final coats of epoxy on this. And I use KS resin for my epoxy. I'll have a link in the description box below with a coupon code if you want to use that while you're checking out. I'll also link this shaker cup in the description box as well. Um, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, thank you for watching.